As a data visualizer, I have three main jobs. One, I select the most appropriate editorial focus for the data set I'm visualizing. Two, I organize that data set in the way that best suits that editorial focus. And three, I present that data in the most appropriate way for a variety of formats, from print to digital to even physical art installations. As I move through these three steps to create a data visualization, I always have to remember to aim to represent data truthfully and honestly, and not mislead viewers or lie about the data. Often, I work with other professionals to create a visualization. A data researcher who gathers, analyzes, and prepares data for visualization. A website developer who creates websites to host visualizations, while a user experience or user interface designer makes sure users can interact and engage with the data effectively. If you have a large and complex data set, you might even need a software developer to write bespoke code and scripts for the project. The sky is the limit when it comes to what you can create if you have loads of money and time, but that's not what most people have to their disposal. So in this course, I'll teach you loads of simple and effective ways of visualizing data without any money. The tool we'll be using this course is Google Charts. It's a great starting point for anyone interested in doing some DIY data visualization and allows for a lot of customization when it comes to the design. A data visualizer always needs a toolbox, and the tools I use the most are my sketchbook and my laptop. I have a sketchbook with me at all times when I'm working, and I use this to sketch out ideas quickly by hand or make project notes at the beginning of a project. Once I have a good idea on paper, I start creating the design on my laptop. I create most of my data visualizations using standard graphic design software like Adobe Creative Suite. Another important tool for me is spreadsheet software, which I use to read and analyze data. You can use standard ones like Microsoft Excel, OpenOffice, or Google Sheets. Or more advanced tools to analyze data can be found through learning coding languages such as Python or R and creating custom tools to analyze and access your data. Sometimes people working with data may use data visualization software tools that are either licensed or open source to speed up the process of analyzing and visualizing the data sets they're working with. These tools require varying levels of expertise, but there are many useful open source visualization programs that you can download and experiment with at no cost. Better still, there are lots of online tools that are free and fairly easy to use even for a beginner that you can use instantly. And I've listed all of my favorite tools in the handout for this chapter, so take a look.